Hello Year 6, welcome to our last week of online learning. I know uh, I'll be glad to get back in the classroom and hopefully you will be too. Let's have a little look at what we've got to do this week. Uh, five a day, I'll go through them nice and slowly. Uh, if you're doing the bronze, you've got a couple of number machines to have a little look at. Uh, make sure you read the instructions really carefully. Uh, this one down here on the gold, work out the mean of these numbers. We have briefly talked about this, um, but I'll just do you a quick reminder. For example, if you had uh, these numbers, um, to work out the mean of those numbers, we'd need to add them together. So five add four is nine, add two more is 11, and then we'd have to divide by three to get our answer. Okay, so in that respect, it would be a, it would be a decimal answer. Okay, it may be uh, a decimal or a whole number. All right. uh, the question at the very bottom, um, you need to know a fact, and that fact is that there are a thousand meters in a kilometer. So bear that in mind when working that one out as well. Um, we haven't done any rounding for a long time, so that would be a nice bit of practice. Um, factors at the bottom, we've done a lot of work on that, so you should be okay. Um, there was a question here I wanted to have a little look at. Uh, prime numbers, just remember that prime numbers are numbers that are divisible by uh, one and themselves. Um, so have a little look at those. And then we've got a long multiplication at the bottom, so go through the process. Uh, it's a missing digit uh, question. Go through it as you would normally do um, and see how you get on with that. Okay, right, the uh, booklet, decimals and percentages this week. You've got your page numbers on the boards now. Um, these get a little bit difficult by the time you get to Thursday and Friday. We'll be using formal written methods to multiply and divide. Um, so bus stop method for your division. We won't be using long, uh, long division um, because we'll do that when we return. So you can use short uh, division for that bus stop. Uh, when we get to Thursday and Friday, there's a, a question on page 36 on Thursday, which I just want to go over with you on the board now. Um, it's about converting decimals into fractions. So the question four asks you to convert 0 0.54 into a fraction. So uh, we're going to use the place value grid that we used last week, uh, which is up here. And I think it helps sometimes just to put your um, number into the place value grid. OK, that's where our decimal will be. Uh, and that makes it really clear there that uh, we've got a five in the tenths column and a four in the hundredths column, okay? So our decimal, uh, our digits after the decimal um, go to the hundredths column, okay? Which means when you write out your answer, you're going to write out of a hundred, a hundredths uh, as your denominator. OK, then our numerator is whatever is on here. OK, so it would be 50, get my pen to it, 54 out of 100, 54 hundredths. OK, and obviously I've got another little equals here because hopefully some of you have picked out that actually that can be simplified. Um, because we can, they're both even numbers, so we can half them both. So 100 divided by 2 is 50. 54 divided by 2, you can divide 50 by 2 is 25, and then divide your 4 by 2, which is 2. So 25 add 2 is 27 fiftieths, okay? So uh, work through them, and as I say, you might want to use the place value grid on the board. You can pause it when it was blank um, if you want to have a blank one to use, okay? Uh, don't worry if you do struggle with them because it does get a little bit tricky on Thursday and Friday. Just do your best, okay? Right, for English, we've got um, the two books. We're going to be using the writing book on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and the comprehension book on Tuesday and Thursday. 
uh, make sure you do the extra challenges as you did last week. Um, and then we'll have a little look at those when we, we return. Uh, Thursday is interesting. You've got a comprehension exercise um, because it is World Book Day. Um, now, what I'd like us to do uh, is see if we can have a bit of a non-screen day on World Book Day. Now, I know you're going to have to use your screen to look at your five a day. I'll even let you get away with that if you don't, uh, <laughs> if you don't do it. It's not the end of the world, OK? And try and uh, have a look at some of the activities on the board now. We've got 25 in total. These are the first 10. Some of them look really interesting. Um, so try putting that screen down. Try having a little go at some of these. Uh, here's the other 15. Lots of interesting different things to do. Um, so please have a little go at those if you can. There's more ideas on, the, um, uh, on Twitter, on Hal's Twitter as well. For our Ancient Greece topic, it's our last um, activity. I'd like to try and create a mini fact file about one area of the Greece topic that's interested you the most. Uh, think about how you're going to make it and make it really engaging to the audience. Think about who your audience is going to be. Uh, if it's for an adult, it might use more um, uh, detailed language and high vocabulary. Um, if it's for a younger audience, you might use more pictures. Um, I think so. Think carefully about who it's for as to what you're going to put in it. Um, you might want to do it as a booklet, you might want to do it as a poster, a leaflet, you might even want to do it as a video. I'm, I'm not against that, so if you want to do it in that way, that's fine. You can do it all on the computer if you want to and type it up, it doesn't have to be handwritten, so it's down to you how you present your work. You will need to do a little bit of research yourself, use the websites uh, that we've got on the board now, use any of the uh, websites that you can find as well. If you are writing it, think about uh, using things like bullet points and text boxes, diagrams, pictures, uh, subheadings, fact boxes to make it interesting and break up all those long uh, paragraphs, okay? Smaller chunks of information are more interesting. Right, Beat the Teacher Challenge is the Side Skaters Challenge. Uh, I've put in nice big bold letters, a large clear space because we are jumping from side to side on this. I wouldn't recommend doing it indoors. So find yourself a nice bit of space outside. Uh, and then in the 30 seconds, complete as many side skates as possible. Okay, so you're jumping from side to side as if you are pushing off when you are uh, ice skating. Okay, practice over the week and then record your best scores on the Thursday and then we'll share them on Friday. I'll be practicing as well, and then I'll uh, have a go on Thursday night and see if I can get a good score. Uh, keep busy this week. Make sure uh, you do any extra reading for book week uh, and World Book Day. Um, I know it's our last week before we get back together, but please don't uh, let it slip. You've been trying super hard, so keep up that uh, high level of engagement. Um, and then we'll be all ready to get straight back to it when we get back together on the Monday afterwards, okay? Um, our last online session is going to be on Friday. It'll be the 5th of March at 9 o'clock, so we'll see you there.